Hey, good morning, y'all. It's January, January, January Wednesday, whatever that date is, 3rd, 4th, 2024. I just want to say hello to uh, Johnny B back home and Moira and Dylan and and uh, Dave who catches the world's biggest fish. And uh, yeah, the rest of you guys, I'll just keep calling you out as I create more and more videos. So I just got a short conversation, a walk and talk, so to speak, as I head down into town here in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. Been here three, four days and it's amazing. We went to open mic last night and I, uh, as we were leaving, it's a place called Longboards where this amazing guy, his name's Max, he uh, hosts uh, open mic, he does a bunch of songs, then you get to come up and it's fun, it's a lot of fun. But as we were leaving, I was telling Tina, my wife, and my buddy Gord as we were walking, uh, I said, you know what my favorite thing is about all of this? And they're like, what? And I was like, being able to walk outside without putting your coat on. <laughs> Yeah, the weather here is pretty good. Hi guys. How you doing? Good, you? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just want to talk uh, about a couple things that have been on my mind. Just brief, random stream of consciousness conversations and uh, some ideas. Try and keep it under five minutes. I, uh, it's amazing down here and I often think about why and how did we ever end up here? And I, I, you know, years ago somebody told me, said, oh, you're so lucky you get to go down there. Well, no, it's got nothing to do with luck. We plan for it, little bit by bit by bit, and you have to do these things. You have to stretch out of your comfort zone in order to make uh, things like this happen. I, whatever your thing is, whether it's Costa Rica or, you know, the North Pole or whatever, you know, follow your bliss. We all have uh, these passions and you know, if you want to have it super structured, you want to know exactly where it's going, well, that's not the right idea because you have to tap into your creative side. You really, really, really have to tap into your creative side. Sometimes that means facing your, well, no, all the time it means facing fears because you're going to get scared. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing. I mean, we are animals and we are, uh, we, our biggest tendency is protection and, uh, you know, being cocooned in the nest of safety. So... I'm just trying to inspire you, give something to think about and sort of some ideas in your mind as to what it is you want to do, where you want to go in life and uh, instead of living externally through your fears or externally and vicariously through others, come up with something, think about it, brainstorm. The one thing I can say that will be the determining factor if you know you're on the right path is, are you scared? Yeah, you're probably on the right path then. So, but anyways, yeah, let me give you a couple of other thoughts, sort of similar and somewhat related to that. And that is to do with a video I saw last night. Hello, hello. They're not very... Morning. Lots of dogs, Sophie. see? See the dogs? Sophie. Lots of dogs here. Sophie. Sophie, that, that, that's, that's, that's that dog's name. But anyways, um, I watched a video on YouTube last night. It was uh, somebody had recorded this 83-year-old lady in Russia. She's a, like a babushka. Well, maybe not a babushka, but they were talking about, she was complaining about Putin, and but mostly she was complaining about the Russian people and the elections because the question was, uh, what do you feel about the elections, blah, blah, blah. And apparently, I mean, we all know this, last 20 years uh, Putin's been winning the election and uh, there's a lot of corruption and but her complaint this 83 year old woman's complaint was nobody gives a shit all they want is food all they want is shelter and a car and TV that's all they want and uh, you know that's a good observation to make that's sort of like uh, kind of a primal position to put oneself into where you're going to give up everything your freedom your hopes your dreams and a better way of life in order to have these things that are uh, so basic you know yeah it was a really good uh, it was a really good video you know what I'll put it in the description on this YouTube video in case you're interested in it you'll see what I mean but it just got me thinking that like you know there's a saying called the asses, no, the masses of the asses. 
<laughs> the masses are asses. Um, which means, you know, wherever the masses go, it's generally not a good thing because there seems to be a lot of mass psychosis that goes on. So to step away from that, you really got to be self-aware, self-disciplined, and above and beyond everything, you got to be courageous. So, all right, that's all I got to say about that. I wish you guys a happy new year and all. If you have any comments, thoughts, ideas, put them down below. Love to hear from you. All right, I'm heading into town. Ciao.